สวัสดีครับคุณมารินวรองนะครับผมนะครับแล้วตอนนี้นะครับเราอยู่ที่ร้านเจมนะครับบายชองมิเชลโรองและแห่งนี้นะครับก็ได้มิชลินสตาร์หดาวถึง2ปีนอนนะครับที่สําคัญนะครับร้านอาหารเขาที่ประเทศฝรั่งเศสนะครับได้มิชลินสตาร์สดาวนะครับถึง26ปีนะครับผมสืบทอดกันมาถึง4รุ่นด้วยกันนะครับและคุณมารินตรงนี้ก็เป็นรุ่นที่4ของเรานะครับผม How long does it open in Thailand Uh, we have opened actually tomorrow. Will be four years. So I heard that Mr. John Mitchell is a like world celebrity in food industry. Why he chose to open the restaurant in Thailand? We had a restaurant here 20 years ago, yep. very long time. Uh -huh. This first restaurant closed after the economic recession mm -hmm. in 1997. Yep. And so when they built this hotel, mm -hmm. they offered him. Um, to come back, mm -hmm. so they contacted him, and then uh, that's how we restarted here at Yu Satong. Ah, so what is different between your restaurant in France and Thailand? The food will be basically recipe from my father mm -hmm. from France, but our chef here is Amerigo, so he will like bring his touch mm -hmm. and maybe like change a bit the dishes. To bring more local products mm -hmm. uh, into the recipes, yes. so the recipe are the same, but we try to use as much as possible the local ingredients. Mm -hmm. So the chef here have to be uh, learn how to cook with Mr. Correct. John Michel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every He's, chef. He spent actually a year with him mm -hmm. before we came here mm -hmm. uh, to work in the restaurant in France, mm -hmm. and and then now he's able to uh, make the recipe himself, oh. and he can also put some of his dishes on the menu as well. Can I meet him now? Of course, yeah, okay. we are going to. Thank you. Let's go. Bon lok ni mi ti lan ko. Sen thang su kwam samlet, hu ka long mu tham duy kwam mu man. Tony Robin. กว่าจะคว้ามิชลินสตาร์ได้ไม่ใช่เรื่องง่ายแต่การรักษามาตรฐานนั้นไว้เป็นเรื่องที่ยากกว่าเคล็ดลับอะไรที่ทำให้ตระกูลโรรองรักษามาตรฐานได้ต่อเนื่องยาวนานไปชมกันต่อเลยครับโอเคสวัสดีครับ Can can I call you Americano? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so he has a Thai name as Americano, <laughs> eh? Okay. So how long have you been in Thailand? Now it's about five years. Five years. Yeah. Why did you decide to work in Thailand? Oh well, when Mr. Ran told me to take care of his new restaurant, mm -hmm. I couldn't say no, and mm -hmm. I happen to love Thailand. Is it hard to work with him? No, but there was a lot of things to learn, and all the history of the family and mm -hmm. recipe from the grandfather and himself, and mm -hmm. all they're doing right now. So the the food here is the same as the food in France, right? Not exactly, not mm -hmm. exactly. We have to give a different twist to mm -hmm. adapt to the local ingredients yeah. and uh, change the recipe a bit. Yes. Uh, like the menu today, what what menu you gonna show us? Today we're gonna do a, is a farm pork mm -hmm. uh, adapted from a recipe from Mr. Oran. Mm -hmm. Uh, with uh, Girol, mm -hmm. uh, Girol from France, uh, uh, bean puree mm -hmm. uh, and uh, truffle. What is the original recipe in France for this menu? The original recipe was done with rabbit, actually. Rabbit? You mean rabbit? Rabbit, yes. You, bunny. You eat, you eat bunny? We do. Thai people don't eat bunny. That's why we changed to pork. <laughs> the ingredient that, that uh, you can find in Thailand, what is that? Uh, so we can find the, the pork. The pork, yeah, sure. Uh, needle bean from the mm -hmm. Royal Project. Yep. Uh, as a nut, we can find some of the mushroom. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a pickle garlic. How about the ingredient that I import from France? So from France, we have the girol. What is that? Uh, girol mushroom is a wild mushroom from uh -huh. France. Okay, now I'm ready to taste the food of your restaurant. Yes. We start the first menu. What is this menu name? It's a, it's a fruit and vegetable tartare with a sea urchin from Japan and a grey shrimp from Northern Sea. It's an appetizer, right? Yes. Okay. Mm. 
no spicy นะ clean over mouth before the next dish right เอาละครับมาจานต่อไปเลยครับผมนี่คือพระเอกของเรานะครับที่เราเข้าไปดูวิธีการทำเมื่อสักครู่นะครับ what is the name of the menu again is a farmer pork with a bean puree mm -hmm. uh, mustard and g h o l e for how to eat it like this yeah yes. perfect should mix everything together okay Um, no spicy, but rich of taste. Nah? Many, many tastes on it. Strong flavor. Yeah, strong yeah. flavor. Yeah, with the the pork is very soft, no sticky at all, and all the ingredient with the fresh vegetable is very good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now become a dessert. Dessert. Correct. Dessert. Yeah. What is this? This is a very classic dessert, mm -hmm. signature from Mr. Han, over mm -hmm. 30 years yeah. old recipe. So it's a rose ice cream. With crystallized rose petal, mm. almond sablé, and some fresh red berries. Ice cream from the Kurab, n a k a This made from rose. Yes, real rose. Real rose. Can and, try. And these have a short name, the rose. The rose. ก็เป็นไอศครีมทำจากดอกกุหลาบนะครับแล้วก็ตรงข้างที่เห็นนี่ก็เป็นกรีบของกุหลาบนะครับซึ่ง with the sugar, right? Yes. สามารถหั่นได้ด้วยนะครับผมรอบๆก็จะมีผลไม้เป็นเบอร์รี่ต่างๆผสมผสานกันตรงนี้นะครับ Not too sweet, but the smell is very good. The smell of the roses come out from the nose. Oh, yeah. Why you become a chef? So now it's about 14 years. Mm -hmm. I just happen to. Love food, love dessert. Mm -hmm. Mainly at the beginning, first I want to be a pastry chef. Mm -hmm. I wanted to have more ingredients mm -hmm. and more food to play around. Mm -hmm. So I thought that chef would have been more complete than a pastry chef. I start traveling around Europe, working in many restaurants yep. and Michelin restaurants, mm -hmm. uh, and get very inspired by my first uh, three Michelin star experience. When you start to being a chef, you aiming to get a Michelin star, no? Yes, is 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 always the objective. Uh, and now you got Michelin star already. Right. How do you feel about it? I'm very happy about it. Is a great recognition for uh, in a chef life, and because our job is, is is very complicated due to the fact that is is objective. Some people might like, some people might not like. The taste is always different. Yep. So Michelin is like a end on the shoulder and saying you've done a good job. Mm. How about you? What is What does Michelin star mean to you and your family? I think that restaurant is, of course, food, mm -hmm. but it's also the atmosphere, the service. Mm -hmm. So to get the star is for me a good reward because it was always my family stars, mm -hmm. but this one is more mine and a m e r i c a s one mm -hmm. than others. In your opinion, why uh, the gems in Bangkok here get Michelin star? Many different things. Um, Again, I think that uh, Amerigo is, is cooking my father recipe and also transforming them a bit, playing around with the local ingredients. Um, I think that we also have a very nice interior design, which is quite unique, which yep. is the upside-down concept. Yep. I think the, the service, the friendliness of the staff, mm -hmm. um, is. A, my grandfather yep. used to say. Uh, the most difficult is not to get one, two, or three star. Mm -hmm. The most difficult is to keep them. How about you? How hard to keep the Michelin star? Actually, for me, it's a matter of standards. Yep. So, if we've been able to do it for one year, we just have to make sure that is the all the details are followed, and the next year just do the same job. Well, for you, Marine, how hard to do a restaurant business in Bangkok, Thailand? Um, and so, for me, the most difficult part is uh, to to train them and to maybe make them understand. So I do um, some food tasting with them. A lot of I do a dis dis description for every single dish. Mm -hmm. um, so I Google every ingredient and give it to them, and if they have some questions. So for me, the most difficult is to really educate them on like. European ingredients, which mm -hmm. they have probably never seen before, yeah. um, but they are actually very interested in it and also very gourmet. So they like to try, they like to test. Mm -hmm. So at the end, it's it's not really difficult. Mm. I think that many of our audience have want to follow your step to be a good chef and get the Michelin star. You have anything to recommend for them? Sure. I think you have to learn your products, respect the products, use your creativity to work with them. Uh, a lot of dedication, 
attention to detail and if you put all those together you should you should be rewarded oh, okay how about you marine to like keep the honor of your generation of your business t h a t s r o n g business for four generation already yeah. how to success in restaurant business well my way to see that we have succeed together mm -hmm. is always to make the guest happy and yep. have them leaving the restaurant mm -hmm. with a big smile mm -hmm. uh, and i think to be able to do that you need to work with a lot of passion mm -hmm. uh, you need to be passionate by the food by uh, maybe the wine um, and what is all around us to give this big smile to our customer every okay. day